Hi. What's up, dogs? Today I'm going to be telling you a story of something that happened to me, I think like two weeks ago, and um, yeah, I was traumatised. However, I may add that this does slightly resemble one of those clickbait beauty guru like story times where, like, I almost died, I was almost kidnapped, you raped me. Bitch, did you die? No, are you dead? No, then shut up. You don't have permission to make this video. Neither do I, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Rule breaker, day in school. However, this isn't an under exaggeration at all in any sense. I didn't almost die, but I could have died. If I was any later or any earlier, I would have been dead, like squished dead. Not even like, oh look, she died, like no. Death. Mutilated, disgusting, gross, death. Death. But like, hey, if you're new here before I start, my name is Kira. I have posted on here kind of like once a week recently because I've been kind of busy and I'm making excuses and I'm spending more time making excuses than I am being productive, but hey. And also, I'm on a club channel called Trash. You may have seen it, you've probably seen it, so it's probably the only reason why you're here. <laughs> Go and subscribe there because I kind of upload two videos a week because I upload a video once a week on there. Go on. Great, it's lit. Yeah, for... Nah. Let's go. So, I guess I should give you a little bit of a preface before I get into this story. Now, my school is in a really weird place. It's in a really nice kind of area, but it's in a weird place. It's on top of like a hill kind of, and there's roads that go up to it. Really thin, narrow roads with no phone service. and very windy and surrounded in trees. Great place to uh, molest someone if you're into... Get out. And every single day, we drive up this long, windy, narrow road to get to my school on top of the hill. I must add, this is a very dangerous road. Many, 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 many car accidents have occurred on this particular road. I would leave the news reports, but I don't want to get killed. I'm so busy procrastinating, I don't have time to deal with a stalker right now, thanks, okay, bye. Anyway, so yeah, and another fact about this road is that there's water pipes leading all the way underneath it. And a lot of the time, I'd say, I don't know, 20,067 times a year, these water pipes burst and the water goes everywhere. Now usually it's all good, it's all fine, sometimes the road gets blocked off, sometimes there's traffic, sometimes there's repairs, sometimes there's repairs. But honestly I feel like most of the time it's just left and then fixed at a really inconvenient time. So this time on this fateful day, the water pipe decided to burst at the top of the road on the top of the hill and the water from the burst water pipe obviously ran down the hill because gravity science, I'm really smart. And this one particular night, the temperature dropped into like minus degrees. If you live in America or somewhere else where you use Fahrenheit, that'll make no sense, but that's like below freezing, so that's when water left out turns into ice. And what happens, here's some science, when a thin layer of water gets frozen is it creates sheet ice, which covers a road, however it's quite invisible to look at so you can't see it, but it's literally like walking on an ice rink, it's undrivable, your wheels just spin, it's a complete mess. And this is purely because I just have the tendency that when there is a bad situation going on, I just fall into it. I don't put myself into it. The one time, the little time slot, something bad happened, we were in it. And they're mad. So we're driving up the road and it's kind of, you know, driving up as usual. However, we notice a bit of ice. So we're driving up and on the other side of the road, like as it turns, we see a car kind of swerve. And I'm like, did you just see that? Did you see this car swerve? Kind of dangerous, you know, it was just like cars just like driving and all of a sudden the car just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And we think, oh my gosh, just stay safe, drive slowly, be careful round the corners, go slowly, you know what I mean? I don't know how to drive because I'm five years old, but if I did, then that is what I would do. It doesn't count. <laughs> So driving up and up and up, and the higher you get up this hill, the steeper it gets. So it starts off going like that, and then it kind of get, you know what I mean. So we're getting near the top to one of the last bends, and on the steepest part of the hill, there is a turning. And when you're on the hill, you can't see around the turning because there's trees and houses. And it's terrifying, because this road is so narrow. As we're getting up to there, we start to notice while wow, the car is kind of slipping a little bit, and we're driving up, 
and driving up and driving up and being careful when all of a sudden this car comes and swerves in front of us. Boy! Oh hell no! This car driving down the other side of the road. This is us going that way. This car's coming this way and all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, let's go in front of you. Cool. So it swerves on the ice and now it's sideways in the road blocking us from getting up. We can't turn around because we've realised the road is too icy to turn around and do anything. It's probably even too icy to try and drive up. We're stuck. You're just stuck. <laughs> So we're sitting there waiting for the car to try and turn itself around and continue to go down and just, you know, continue its life because it wasn't bad, it was just terrifying and such a near miss. When another car drives around the bend and because you can't see around the bend, it only notices the car when it crashes into it. Cute. Oh, and guess what? The third car comes along. <laughs> so now, at this point, there is like a free car pile up and we're just standing in front of it in our car standing the car is standing we're just sitting in the car in front of this massive pileup waiting for something to happen at any point a car to slip and come right into us and to kill us this was a more terrifying part it would have been okay if we was in the actual crash because it was over and done where we could have got out we could have sat on the side waiting for the police to come the ambulance to come whatever come and to get the cars fixed and out of the way but no it was just the suspense of waiting to die <laughs> however this first part it really wasn't that bad. The crash wasn't really that bad. We watched the people come out, we watched them exchange their insurance, I don't know what adults do, and it was all okay. So they all started to get back into their cars together and thought, hey, let's drive along. <laughs> let's fix this situation, work, work, work this out, and drive away, <laughs> which they did. However, as the cars started, as the cars were trying to get back down the hill, and get out of being collided with each other. They pulled up on the curb because the road was really icy and I assume we need kind of a break after being in a crash like that. And this meant that our side of the road was clear to go. We was clear to drive up because the cars had moved on to the other side. When all of a sudden, this massive van comes down the road on the other side, thinks, hmm, what are those cars doing? Swerves in front of us, not because of the ice, on purpose, and decides to park right in front of us facing us and blocks off the road so we can't get up and yet again we are screwed and you will not believe what happens another two cars come down you know what they did already they drove away happily yeah that's right no they crashed and it was such a loud thud it wasn't just like a oh look oh, no. no it was like a <laughs> kind of it was a, a thud we could hear it the windows were up we were like, I don't know, like three metres away from it and we could hear it. It was so loud, it was so intense. It was terrifying. So now this is when things started getting quite scary and quite serious. So at this point, the cars were all kind of crashed together in front of us. It was really intense and it was so scary because we were just facing it and the ice was so slippery I wouldn't have even trusted the car's brakes on that ice. It was really difficult to get past the fact that one of these cars probably isn't going to come through and crash into us but it could have done and the thought of one of them slipping terrified me and it could happen. <laughs> and so these people were getting out of their cars and exchanging their insurance and everything because it was all in a big collision like a really intense one on an icy hill and we were just stuck watching it. So we're doing all like adulty stuff again and people falling over in the road and I don't mean like oh yeah you know, fell over like ugh. no I mean like falling over like injuring themselves falling over it was really bad you couldn't even walk on the ice like we would have gotten out of the car and sat by a little bank of grass at the side but you could not walk on this ice and I was wearing like little leather like loafers now this was the absolutely most terrifying part where I live, on Tuesdays, it's the day that the rubbish guy comes and takes away our stuff, like, our unwanted waste, puts it into the big disposal thing in the massive truck, and leaves. Tuesday is that day, so there's tons of these, like, things, like, driving around. They're massive. And while we were sitting there, terrified, all we could think about was, what if one of these comes around the corner right now? It won't be able to stop. It's so huge. It will crush the cars, it will crush us. Imminent death. Fun. And it's really hard to like capture in a video and I know a lot of you will say, oh you're being pathetic, get over yourself. But if you've ever been in a situation like that, a really suspenseful situation, you'll know exactly what I mean. I was having like a full blown panic attack. It was, ugh, 
too much. Now what surprised me is that an ambulance showed up and took some people away. So I don't know what happened. Maybe someone got like whiplash. I don't know. I've had whiplash from skiing before. Well, I'm a great skier, clearly. But yeah, people were taken away in an ambulance and that's when it got really scary too. But everything's terrifying. Oh gosh, Kira, are you fine? Now somehow the cars managed to straighten themselves out and we were really angry at this van because the second crash was completely his fault because he wanted to look and see what happened because he's an idiot. So I thought, my mom, so my mom was like, hey Kira, can you take, take a picture of the crash, get the like van's registration, write it down, whatever, so we can maybe do something about it because it was his fault. And I thought, oh, okay, so I took a picture and got out of dick because I'm going to insert it right now. So I'm going to quickly like try and explain this picture because it doesn't look as bad in the picture as it actually was. It doesn't look half as bad actually in the picture than it actually was. Okay, here goes. So this road you have to remember is covered in sheet ice. It's so slippery you couldn't stand on it. That's why those people are standing behind those cars holding on because standing in front they were just falling over and falling all over the place and old people falling over. I don't know if you can see the old lady with the grey hair back there. She fell over and it was really sad. Yeah. Okay, next. Secondly, this doesn't look as severe as it actually is. Firstly, because the original two cars from the first crash had pulled away by this point. They were gone down the road. I don't know where they are. That car that's on the curb, like, looks like it's parked up, was parked there. That's when the van came in. And then that's when, I don't know, I don't know what car it was, but one of the cars came down, crashed into something. I don't know. But then they managed to sort themselves out. And this, this is where it looked okay. This is as they were just about to drive away. You know what I mean? I'm making literally no sense. But that van is a poop and needs to go away. Like, you can see what he's done wrong. Like, we couldn't drive up past that while there was a crash next to it. He totally screwed us over. And we couldn't turn around because I don't know if you can see the side of the road you can see like the trail of water running down and I don't know if you can see the car on the very right you can see like a sheen like a sheen over the road next to it that's the ice I don't know this is really bad um explanation but yeah that's why it doesn't look as bad as it is but I don't want people to think that I'm like clickbaiting and over exaggerating because it was really awful that's why I'm trying to explain it right now and this was after the ambulance came and took some people away so there was like more people but it took like four people I don't I don't know their names or their story okay yeah so basically that's what happened if you have any questions please please feel free to ask me in a non-hostile way okay I'm just trying to make sense of everything also I was really scared and nervous at the time and I wasn't really thinking of let's whip out my phone and take a picture of a car crash yes people are hurt no I'm not that much of a professional youtuber yet okay bye enjoy the video give it a like thumbs up or bad luck forever follow me yeah bye as you can see at this stage it doesn't look that bad <laughs> And you think, wow, Kira, you're really old. Yeah. And it was terrifying them, them straightening themselves out because they could have felt, you know, they could have slipped down. Anything that went wrong would have directly impacted us. Finally, they all managed to get away. It was great. They all drove away. It was rejoice, hallelujah, you know. Um, but then it was still the case, us getting down. My mum managed to drive into someone else's driveway, turn around there and turn around and go back down the hill because a man told us that going up would be too dangerous. And I live quite close to my school, so once you're down the hill, you're closer to my house than you are to my school. And we didn't want to be in the car for a minute longer. We were so traumatised, we were so shook up, I couldn't really speak, we were trying to catch our breath. It was really terrifying. And I don't wish that feeling upon anybody. Apart from a bit of guy in the van, because he's kind of the reason that it happened, he's complete enough to pleb. So we turned around, I went home, I sat in bed all day and felt sorry for myself. So yeah, that is the incident of a car crash. And if you're gonna take something from this, actually do take something from this. Be safe, if the roads are icy, if you can avoid an icy road like that, avoid it, drive away, don't do dangerous things. Report, report water leaks on roads. Oh my gosh, that's so dangerous. I nearly died, ah. So yeah, my name's Kira, follow me on my social media. You know my name, why did I say that? It's so cringy. So subscribe and subscribe to Trash because I upload on there once a week as well and it's really cool and it's really fun and you should have me around. Um, don't die, bye. <laughs> subscribe.